It's the trophy man, the future, you know. A lot of people don't understand what niggas I've been through. This year alone, I done contemplated suicide two or three times. I done pictured my brother walking in, finding me dead. I cried a few times thinking about leaving my son. Because you just get tired of life. It's like no matter what you try to do, you just got to keep battling. Niggas got their foot on your neck. Niggas want to see you fall. And it be niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's this nigga Puffy. And my main motherfucking reason why I really hate fucking life, dog. Like, people don't even understand. Like, I don't even give a fuck. But I've never been to a point where I've thought of suicide my whole life. Never. I think I'm a gangster. You know, I tapped out, you know. I partake in my shell street things that might occur. I, I apologize for my sins every night. But me personally, my own life, the thought alone, I was telling my dog, I'm like, I don't even know how I start thinking like that. Because I don't, it done got so bad where well, I done had it all. And I fell to the bottom. How do you come back from that when, when you battling a giant? It's like no matter what you do, it ain't got nothing to do with your skill no more because your skill is 90% better than any nigga that's out there right now and the world knows it. But it ain't your skill because you can't even, you can't even get where you're going because of the world is built on relationships. So if a nigga fuck with you, that's saying they don't fuck with Diddy. That, 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 that's, that's basically... Khaled, Ross, all them niggas chose. You think I don't know them niggas? Them niggas ain't never gave me a verse. Them niggas ain't never did. Now, when I first seen Ross, man, after that shit, niggas said, I love you, man. You know what you did for our city? I love you, man. In the middle of the club, my nigga. Nigga ain't never gave me, you know, nigga ain't never called back and said, man, like real niggas spoke with me. Every artist in Miami look out for each other. You ever seen any one of them niggas do anything for me? Them niggas got they deal on the strength of me, man. Khaled and them and, and, and Diddy relationship is built off me, man. That's why them niggas don't fuck with me. That's why they can't fuck with me. Them niggas love me. I had love, man. I was the only nigga screaming Khaled name when he wasn't shit, bro. Every city, too. Every radio station, every every event. Khaled, the number one DJ with me, nigga. Because I'm a real nigga like that. Ross was my favorite rapper before he ever fucking touched the Diddy hand. But notice how after the band, Diddy... Put his hands on them niggas. A few months later. Oh, he want to be they Because he want to. That was a spit in my face. Because me and him know what happened. Me and him had the conversation inside the office. I know what we're supposed to take, though. Uh, I just don't come from where I can be purchased, man. I ain't come from that, man. I came from, man, sleeping on dirty clothes, man. I used to fill up my clothes. We used to sleep on fucking pillowcases, man. I used to wear my, my fucking... We used to wash our clothes out, hang them bitches in the bathroom, go to school, mute do my nigga. So I can't be purchased, bro. I've been through a lot. My family been through a lot, bro. For 20 years, man, it's like, and people are like, oh, why you ain't, why you ain't, why? Because, bro, anybody that signed me, basically, I, don't, I can't pr prove that this nigga hating on me. But I can see through my peers' actions how a nigga like Khaled can't even fuck with me. He can't even, if he want to. And I'll ask you, after that, you say, oh, damn, Kelly, when we got beef? Damn, Ricky, when we got beef? Why you cutting checks to all these other niggas? You ain't, ain't now, man. And now what all this Ricky Ross ever signed fuck with me, man? I went through 40,000, man. Ain't now nigga Ricky signed that can go through 40,000, man. Ain't now nigga Kanye signed that can run through 40,000. Ain't now nigga, none of these niggas ever signed that can run through 40,000, man. And be noticed. By a nigga who sold 80 million records. You can't take away what we done already. I done been through a lot, dog. And after some time, you just get tired, bro. You just get tired. I had to find more reasons to live this shit. I want step kids or something, dog. Because my son grown. And, I, and, and seeing him. Y'all done heard Freddie P from making the band, right? Y'all remember that band Diddy had back in the day? Freddie P, he, he still ain't over whatever happened between him and Diddy, right? He say Diddy's the reason why he uh uh hate life. I don't, I don't know what Diddy done did to him. 
I, I, I think something else. I mean, I don't know what's going on? Did, did, what, did, did he take the booty? I mean, I mean well, what's going on? You know, it, it, it looked like some Me Too going on. I, I don't know. But the nigga, he, he, he in his feelings. I'm like, damn, I see him doing the video. Where, the background looking like he was in the uh, Ukrainian bomb shelter. I thought he... He was trapped in Ukraine or something, nigga. Head all mashed up and shit. Tattoo all ashy and shit. Nigga got cold in his eyes and shit. And he over there talking about Diddy. Diddy done did him wrong. He done introduced Diddy to Rick Ross and, and, and DJ Khaled. And them niggas don't even fuck with him. We already know DJ Khaled's snake. You know what I'm saying? This has been uh, uh, proven other artists have been with DJ Khaled. But, you know, at the time, he this dude might have a point, right? Because at the time, it wasn't a, a whole lot of Miami rappers like that. You know, you have Florida. I don't even know if he's from Miami or what part of Florida he's from. But, you know, Trick and Trina, you know, started that Miami movement. Then before, then you can almost, I mean, T-Pain ain't from Miami, from, I think, Tallahassee. But then, then you can say as far as notable rappers, at that time, you know, he was kind of known. So maybe he did introduce Rick Ross to P. Diddy, man. You know, it ain't been a whole lot of good news in the news with P. Diddy. There's a whole, whole lot surrounding you, yeah? Niggas won't kill P. Diddy. There's always something going on with Diddy, with, with somebody frustration with Diddy. This man basically saying... He basically got blackballed. I don't know. Nigga, I don't know what happened. He claimed to be a gangster. I don't, I don't know about that part. It's hard to be a gangster rapper after some nigga done made you walk from Manhattan to Brooklyn for, for a cheesecake. I'm just saying. When you, you know, I mean, you should have been like, nigga, I, P. Diddy, nigga, I ain't walking nowhere. Nigga, the fuck you talking about? Nigga, then beat up P. Diddy on the show. You, you probably would have got signed by somebody if you would have did that. But you niggas walked to Brooklyn to get this man a cheesecake, right? And I believe Diddy was probably just using them as using them as like a reality TV thing. You know what I'm saying? You still look. You 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 still, you know, got your face out there, got your name out there, man, I guess. See, rap, rap, rap is a funny thing, man. There's nothing, nothing in the world. Like rap. Why do I say that? Because rap is the only thing where you can be better than somebody and they be professional. They made it and you didn't. Niggas be mad and shit. No, don't, 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 don't normal niggas be mad. Nigga being this mama baby. I'm not way better than that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying, man? man, man nah, why do you think? My motherfucking mistake go harder than all these niggas, man. I'm better than all these rap better. Drag nigga, I'm better than all these niggas. And a nigga might be better. See, if I was good enough in basketball to beat LeBron James, I would be in the NBA. But if you're a better rapper than a rapper, I, that doesn't mean you're going to make it, you know. See, it's no longer like back in the day, I'll say like the 90s, early 2000s, when they was going in the street corners finding rappers, like niggas that be battling and shit. A lot of the rappers, you know, they just started in the hood battling niggas rapping off the word of mouth. Like, oh, he can spit the DMX was like that. Lloyd Banks, Biggie Smalls. You know what I'm saying? Niggas out there battling. Ooh, that boy can spit. He gonna get signed. It's not like that no more, you know? It's more about relationships, uh, uh, your, your image, uh, you, you know, uh, 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 what you got going on, who you know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of politics come with that, so... You can be better than some rappers, but they made it and you didn't. But this shit was 20 years ago, and, and, and Freddie P still still crying him a river. He's saying these niggas ain't made no song. Well, that's fucked up if that's how DJ Kelly and, and, and uh, Rick Ross went too, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? That man introduced y'all to Diddy. Y'all making moves. Y'all ain't put him on. He said he was shouting out DJ Kelly. You know what I'm saying? All the time. And, and that's how DJ Khaled did him. You know, but hey, 
my nigga, and, 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 and you ain't got to uh, kill yourself over his situation. No, 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 I need to know what's going on. What, what, what's the truth, okay? Behind the music, Freddie P, the truth. What did it do to you in that office, nigga? For you to hate this man 20 years later. Because you ain't the only nigga that had uh, 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 dreams of being a rapper and didn't make it. I'm just saying. How many niggas passed out mixtapes all day and, and niggas threw it out the window or, or used it to uh, roll their weed on? How, how many niggas have been do that? Right? So you out here willing to kill yourself because your rap career didn't go to where you thought he went? And you going to blame it all on Diddy because he said, I can't prove it, but I know that nigga, that nigga uh, 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 blackballing me. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you might have a point because, you know, I know, I know a nigga or two, you know, from the hood, you know, this nigga so good at stealing. When he steal your shit, you never catch him. But you know, you you know the nigga did it. And every time this nigga around, some shit missing, some, some weed, and pack of cigarettes, and shit, and stealing the shit. Can't nobody prove it. Nigga always around. Then it just come. Nigga just start blaming this nigga. Like sometimes the nigga might not have even did it. That nigga, that nigga did it. That nigga walked in the house. He walked in my house two days ago. Nigga, your shit, be, your shit went missing today and shit. That nigga was at your house three days ago. Now that nigga, now nah, that nigga took my shit, mo. Sticky finger ass nigga. Niggas can't catch this nigga so you can't even beat him up. Cause then you beat him up. Nigga, 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 and then man, I'm gonna stop playing. Man, you see the nigga, man. I ain't see the nigga, man. Oh, why you man? Why you on man? Just about to beat that man like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you wrong. So you beat him up. You wrong. Cause you ain't see him doing. So I understand. You know him talking about he think Diddy hating on him, but sometimes you gotta move on, man. You know your 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 time came. And your time sealed, man. You know, especially you got kids. You love your kids. If you ain't, if you don't want to live life for you, live life for your kids. Live life for your children. You know what I'm saying? Then this nigga talking about, I was with you. I was with you till you start talking about you want step kids and shit. And then what niggas be like, man? You know, shit fucked me up. I'm, oh, nah, I'll give me some step kids or something. You know what I'm saying? N nigga, no, nigga, no. You got too much going on. Talking about you want some step kids to take your frustration out on. Let me beat the shit out of them step kids. We on you, know, you, 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 you boyfriend that niggas. All of a sudden you want some step kids. They say he wants some niggas. Now we know why you in the situation you win. You, you you're decision making. How you go from all this shit? Now you want some badass step kids for what? Nigga ain't say, yeah, you know, I might want to have me more kids. Nigga say he wants some step kids. You, lo you lost me on that one, Freddy. You done lost me on that one, okay? You, 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 you would have got signed if you would have not walked to uh, Brooklyn, okay? You should have beat up Diddy. That shit would have been all over. Nah, nah, that nigga, man, that's that nigga that beat up Diddy or uh, making a band, man. Real nigga right there, man. Nigga said, fuck that, he ain't going. You ain't getting that nigga cheesecake. Get his own motherfucking cheesecake. You know what I'm saying? But now you gangster. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, Diddy do got a lot of, you know, people who don't speak too highly of him. But, I mean, hey, I guess you got to be a cold, grimy-ass nigga to get to where Diddy is at. And Diddy, Diddy, Diddy told you he won't stop, though. I don't know why these niggas keep... I thought he told you that he won't stop. I thought he told you that he won't stop. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? He doing him. Diddy ain't thinking about that shit. And you out here in a Ukrainian bomb shelter talking shit about Diddy. I don't know what that's going to do for you, but hey, we going to make the video about it, man. You know, 
hey, if you want to keep pursuing your dream as a rapper, you can do that. But he's saying nobody fucking with him because a Diddy. This is what he's saying. He basically Diddy ruined his career. But I'm like, you can look at it that way. Or you can also look at it the way it, uh, Diddy give you some type of exposure too. You know, you was at your height. You was bragging about all the shit you was selling, the records and all that. So, hey, something was out there for somebody to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, dude got his hatred for Diddy. You know, if I'm Diddy, man, I, I'm just saying, man, it, it, this is me. Like, if I'm if I'm worth a bill, you know, I, guess I ain't got no time for these crazy niggas, all these motherfuckers pulling up, pushing my shit back one day. Or, and not even just that, just me just... At the kindness of my heart, I'll be breaking off all these artists. If you was with bad boys, I'm just going to break you off, okay? Just going to break you off. I'm at one billion. I'll probably take 100 mil to break y'all off. You still got 900 mil. Go break this nigga off. Everybody else in the band and Mace, you know, 112. Uh, everybody else. Lil' Kim over there looking like Michael Jackson. Break her off, too. Lil' Kim, you, you, you deserve to have more bread. Break the locks off. You just gonna break everybody off, Diddy, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But, hey, this man got a problem with Diddy. And, and Diddy's the reason why he hate his life. Which I don't think you should be walking around here hating life because of another nigga, okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm fucking out.